Where is a vaccine and what kind of vaccines are there? Your pharmacist informs. With this video, we are launching a new thin channel, Your Pharmacist Informs, focus on the world of vaccines. This is a monthly initiative to publish video advice on different topics related to vaccination. The purpose of this video advice channel is to provide robust and quality health information backed by professional pharmacists. Consequently, you can educate people, especially given misinformation circulates on the internet and in social networks. In this first video advice, we will discuss what vaccines are and how they are classified. A vaccine is a medicine administered to humans or animals to develop immunity against infectious diseases. Its main components are called antigens and have the capacity to produce an immune response, that is, to generate sufficient antibodies to be protected against the specific disease. Vaccination programs are one of the most beneficial preventive strategies for public health. Vaccines can be classified according to different criteria. Vaccines are classified as viral or bacterial. They are called whole vaccines if they contain the entire microorganisms, or subunit vaccines if they include fragments of the microorganisms. Vaccines can also be classified as attenuated vaccines. These are vaccines with living microorganisms, but their ability to cause disease is reduced. Inactivated vaccines, these are made from dead microorganisms and are therefore not capable of causing infection. Recombinant vaccines, these are obtained by genetic engineering, introducing a gene into a microorganism that produces a specific antigen. Synthetic vaccines, these are vaccines that contain a fragment of the antigen synthesized in vitro. We can differentiate between monovalent vaccines which present a single antigen, polyvalent vaccines which contain different antigens of the same microorganisms, or combined vaccines which contain antigens from different microorganisms. Conjugate vaccines contain another substance that enhances the immune response. Viral vector vaccines contain a genetically modified non-pathogenic virus, the viral vector, and parts of the microorganisms. Routine vaccines are included by the health authorities in vaccination schedules and are universally applied to the entire population. Non-systematic vaccines protect individuals according to different risk factors. In the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic, the development of messenger RNA vaccines has been encouraged. In those vaccines, the genetic material that produces the microorganisms is injected in our bodies. Certain vaccines may also contain components called adjuvants that modulate, enhance, and lengthen the immune response against the antigen, such as aluminum salt, biosome, or esqualene. Vaccines are generally administered to healthy people although there are also certain vaccines that can be administered to populations with chronic pathologies or to vulnerable patients due to various risk factors. Vaccines are administered to prevent disease, and it is therefore necessary that vaccines do not cause, at the very least, more harm than the disease itself could. Vaccine safety considerations are therefore evaluated with great scientific rigor. Like any other medicine, vaccines are not exempt from possible adverse reactions. The vast majority are mild, well-tolerated and acceptable, although the more serious effects may occur on rare occasions. And remember, always ask your pharmacy. We will help you and answer any questions you may have. Remember, for any queries, go to your pharmacy and ask for advice to your pharmacist. <laughs>